Hey guys, before we begin, this video is sponsored by Audible. It's that time of year when everyone is traveling or running around getting thoughtful gifts for the people you care about. So include yourself in that by getting yourself an Audible membership. And now is the best time to do it with a special offer of 53% off your first three months. Access an unbeatable selection of audiobooks including bestsellers, motivation, mysteries, thrillers, memoirs, and more. You can choose three titles every month, one audiobook, and two exclusive audiobooks originals that you cannot hear anywhere else. Listen on any device, anytime, anywhere with the Audible app, whether you're commuting, at the gym, or traveling during the holidays. With Audible, you'll also enjoy easy audiobook exchanges and your own audiobook library for you to keep forever, even if you cancel. So go sign up now at audible.com slash Matthew. When you do, I highly recommend David Goggins' Can't Hurt Me. It's an incredible audiobook full of motivation that you will love. And remember, for a limited time, you get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. That's more than half off the regular price. So visit audible.com slash Matthew or text Matthew to 500-500 today. Now on with the video. Oh, what's that Mr. Sunflower? It's time for more facts. Well, let's do it. Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. Since 1968, Snoopy from the comic Peanuts has been the official safety mascot for NASA. Every mission since has traveled with a silver Snoopy on board and once back on Earth is given as an award to a civilian who worked to keep the astronauts safe. Antoine Augustine Parmentier was responsible for the popularization of potatoes in France during the late 1700s. He would line guards around his potato patch during the day to hint that he was hiding valuables that then at night leave the patch unattended so people could steal his potatoes and enjoy them. He also came up with recipes featuring potatoes, founded a school of bread making, and studied methods of food refrigeration. The countries that have stan in them, such as Afghanistan and Pakistan, end that way because the suffix stan is an ancient Persian word that means land, nation, or place of. The Spix Macaw, which is the bluebird featured in the animated film Rio, is now officially extinct in the wild. Deforestation is the leading cause of their extinction. The animation studio Topcraft, which is known for the 1977 animated film The Hobbit, ended up splitting into two studios. One went on to create the television show Thundercats, and the other became Studio Ghibli. Beekeepers are strongly advised not to eat bananas before interacting with bees because the fruit contains a compound that triggers their alarm pheromone. If the bees notice this on their beekeeper's breath, they will become extremely extremely aggressive. Honeybees will usually sleep between five and eight hours a day and some will hold each other's legs as they sleep. So they like to sleep a lot and cuddle. So they're me. For the 1983 film Cujo, anywhere from 5 to 13 dogs were used for filming, and all of their tails had to be tied down with fishing wire because they were wagging from excitement the entire time. According to research published in Animal Cognition, rats may have empathy. During one experiment, rats were given a choice of a chocolate treat or saving one of their own from drowning, and they would choose to save their drowning companion. Anywhere from 40,000 to 45,000 PhDs are given out every year in the United United States. However, over 50,000 fake PhDs are given out every year by diploma mills. This means that over half of all the people who claim to have a PhD have a fake one. Birds are insensitive to the compound capsaicin, which is what makes chili peppers hot. In fact, if rodents are always eating the bird food that you put out, you can make it spicy and it will deter them from eating it. A study done by Durham University showed that some well-known fairy tales are much older than we previously thought. Beauty and the Beast can be traced back to Indo-European lineages between 2,500 and 6,000 years ago. Jack and the Beanstalk, also known as the boy who stole the ogre's treasure, can be traced back more than 5,000 years ago. Before he died, Ivan the Terrible never told anyone about a secret library that he inherited from his father, and it is still being searched for today. The library is said to contain rare Greek, Latin, Chinese, and Egyptian works. Opossum 
worms love to eat ticks and will virtually get rid of all of them in your yard. In a single season, one is capable of eating 5,000 ticks. NASCAR pit crew members used to be mechanics that underwent physical training. However, today there are more athletes who train to be mechanics because of how physically demanding the job is. Actor Cary Grant took LSD an estimated 100 times from the years 1958 until 1961 in order to search for inner peace and meaning. He said that the result of these sessions was a rebirth and that he finally got where he wanted to go. The lowest attendance ever for a Major League Baseball game occurred on April 29, 2015 between the Baltimore Orioles and the Chicago White Sox. There was an insufficient amount of security for the game because of the civil unrest in Baltimore following the death of Freddie Gray. Because of this, no one was allowed at the game and it was the first crowdless game ever. The Orioles ended up defeating the White Sox 8-2. According to research from the University of Cambridge, children get more satisfaction from the relationship with their pets than their own brothers and sisters. They also get along better with their pets than their siblings. Not a big surprise there. The walkie-talkie skyscraper in London had to be fitted with a sunshade because the reflection from the sun on one of its sides became so hot that it was melting cars and even caused a fire in a barber shop on the street. The word quarantine comes from the Italian word quarantino, which means 40. During the Black Death in the 14th century, ships had to wait for 40 days outside of the port to prove that they weren't infected. Director George Lucas introduced the concept of the hit film Raiders of the Lost Ark to his friend Steven Spielberg when they were building a sandcastle at the Moana Kea Beach Hotel in Hawaii. Comedian Steve Martin has won more awards from playing the banjo and bluegrass music than he has from comedy. Musician Bob Dylan has been on tour since June 7th, 1988 and calls it the never-ending tour. He played his 2000th show on October 16th, 2007 in Dayton, Ohio and his three 1000th show on April 19th, 2019 in Austria. In 2015, Godzilla became a Japanese citizen and was even employed as a tourism ambassador of Japan. A common shrew must eat up twice their body weight in food every day to stay alive. They will actually starve to death if they go without food for only a few hours. US President Thomas Jefferson would breed a special type of geese in order to produce his quill pens. Because he was right-handed, he would only use five feathers at the tip tip of the left wing. Left-handed people would use the five feathers at the tip of the right wing. Then he would bury the feathers in hot, dry sand to harden them and cut them down to a point. Actor Viggo Mortensen from the Lord of the Rings trilogy is fluent in Danish, English, French, and Spanish. He's also conversational in Italian, understands Norwegian and Swedish, and even has some knowledge of Catalan. During the New York draft riots of 1863, Leonard Jerome, who was the grandfather of Winston Churchill defended the New York Times office building with a Gatling gun. For the 1978 film Superman, Marlon Brando was paid $3.7 million and given 11.75% of the profits to play Superman's father, Jor-El. He only worked for 13 days and was given less than 20 minutes of screen time. For comparison, Christopher Reeve was paid $250,000 to play the role of Superman. Between 2011 and 2013, China used more cement than what the United States used throughout the entire 20th century. The the Palace of the Parliament in Romania is the heaviest building in the world, weighing around 4,098,500,000 kilograms. The cost of heating and electric use also costs more than $6 million a year, which is the cost of powering a medium-sized city. If your dishwasher is 10 years or older, it probably has a self-cleaning filter. However, if it's a newer model, you most likely have to manually clean the filter regularly. That's just a little fun fact for y'all dirty, dirty dish people. Sir Isaac Newton used a large sewing needle to poke behind his eyeball in an attempt to fix his vision. He deemed the experiment a success and even wrote about it in detail in his journal, complete with how to perform the procedure. No thanks, no thanks, I'd rather just not see. Serial killer Ed Kemper, who was depicted in the Netflix show Mindhunter, used his time in prison to record hundreds of books to audio for the blind. You can actually listen to him read an excerpt 
excerpt from the book Flowers in the Attic, which involves incest and family abuse. No thanks, I'll just stick to my regular audiobooks. According to data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, there is about a 40% chance that someone will get away with murder in the US. There's also about a 50% chance that someone will get away with assaulting someone. While Catherine Bach was playing Daisy Duke in the show The Dukes of Hazard, her legs were insured for a million dollars. The ancient Romans would recycle their urine by peeing into pots and leaving them on the street. Someone would come by to pick them up so they could be turned into ammonia, which they could use for different purposes, such as bleach and even mouthwash. Universal Pictures didn't include a copyright symbol for the 1963 film Charades starring Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn. Because of this, the film entered public domain upon its release in theaters. The Central Intelligence Agency developed a heart attack gun that shoots a small dart and is capable of penetrating through clothing. The dart then disintegrates on contact and all that's left is a small red dot on the skin before the poison seeps into the bloodstream. An autopsy also would show that the victim simply died of a heart attack and nothing more. According to the Journal of Forensic Sciences, researchers discovered a deer feeding on a human being for the first time. They may have been eating it because of a deficiency in minerals such as phosphorus, salt, and calcium. Yikes. The mayor of Philadelphia had to issue a statement that it's illegal to fill a dumpster with water and use it as a pool after people would tap fire hydrants and fill them up during the summer months. Let me tell you something, it has never been so hot that I've ever thought of filling a trash with it. Okay, I didn't even, it's gross. Aluminum that was recovered from the debris of the World Trade Center after September 11th was used as cable shields for NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Spirit and Opportunity. The purpose of this was to honor the victims of that fatal Day. The unfrosted Pop-Tarts flavors, strawberry, blueberry, and brown sugar cinnamon are considered vegan, but frosted Pop-Tarts are not because they contain dairy. Pop-Tarts also had their own cereal in the early 1990s called Pop-Tart Crunch. I do think I remember that. It was delicious. The term lunatic comes from the Latin word lunaticus, which referred to madness and epilepsy because mental illnesses were believed to be caused by the position of the moon. Aristotle and Pliny the Elder claimed that a full moon would trigger insane people with bipolar disorder. Until around 1700, it was believed that the moon was one of the causes of fevers, rheumatism, and other diseases. Director John McTiernan, who directed films such as Die Hard, Predator, and The Hunt for Red October, was sentenced to 10 months in federal prison camp in Yankton, South Dakota for lying to the FBI. Actor Sir Anthony Hopkins has been sober ever since December 29th, 1975 after he woke up in Arizona with no idea how he got there. He also didn't know he was autistic until he was diagnosed with the syndrome well into his 70s. According to the Visual Cliff study done by Eleanor J. Gibson and Richard D. Walk, humans are born with only two innate fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. The study was performed on infants in simulated settings. Cats meow, enjoy laying in the sunlight while they nap because it helps them save energy and expand fewer calories to maintain their internal body heat. They also run at a hotter body temperature than we do at around 102 degrees. Before he became the famous writer known as Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens was a steamboat pilot on the Mississippi River until the Civil War broke out in 1861. He thought of the name Mark Twain because it's a nautical reference that means two fathoms deep. The largest tuna fish ever recorded was measured at 6.4 meters and weighed a whopping 700 125.75 kilograms. They're also extremely fast swimmers despite their large size. And they can reach speeds up to 99.7 kilometers per hour. But hey, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and a very special thank you to all of my channel members, especially the names that you see on screen right now. Every single one of you helps keep my channel going. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.